Well, hello, this is Kent, and I'm uh, getting my car ready to camp in tonight, so you might want to tune into that, but I'm, I'll am show you the prep I've made and what I've got left. So this is the actual mattress with some uh, uh, bedding on it, and there's the pump to blow it up. And uh, looking over here, this is... Uh, I just set up a, a little shower tent as kind of a, a changing tent for my, uh, when I camp. So this is the temp inside the shower house. I've got a, a space heater going in there, ceramic space heater at half wattage. And uh, this is the actual temp outside and temp inside my, uh, my camper. And that's, this is Celsius, so. It's pretty cold out. Let's see, get back to South Fahrenheit. And uh, and it's pretty warm inside my uh, my shower tent. <clears throat> that would be Celsius. And uh, let's see, I don't have any uh, 110 power com coming to the camper right now. It's all going to my my car and the uh, the shower shelter there and also I decided to put my uh, I have a uh, small he heated blanket and I'm gonna put it underneath that mattress so that is the kilowatts that the space heater and the uh, the blanket are pulling so not too bad and of course I won't have the space heater going I'm gonna go with the car's uh, HVAC system tonight so I'll be just pulling wattage for the uh, uh, the heated blanket and uh, also uh, my uh, CPAP so anyways uh, the light is fading it's 3 31 p.m. there's only maybe an hour of good light left so I'll take you outside and we can uh, look at that uh, shower house shelter there and we can set up this uh, this uh, mattress too. But I wanted, I wanted to show you the heated blanket before I put the mattress on there. So I'll put my, I'm just gonna put uh, gloves and a hat on and uh, Let's see, I better put you on the, uh, the long pole tripod because I'm going to need to set you down out there. I wasn't thinking about putting that mattress in there. I was thinking about just showing you the shower house, but okay, this shouldn't take but a minute. I've done it a hundred times. <laughs> Take the one tripod off and we get on the bigger one. There we go. Hopefully the big one doesn't fall apart going on. There we go. Oh, I just learned a new trick how to do this. It was really simple. Okay, <laughs> enough of that uh, interference. So anyways, so I'll, uh, I'll set you out there and I'll come back for the, uh, for that air mattress. Let's see. We'll take a look in the shower house too. But I was thinking it would be a nice place to sit if you're car camping and uh, warm up, keep warm. Space heaters are going. I did find some insulation, some fiberglass, but it's not in the best shape. But uh, so this is what it looks like inside. I'll take you off this tripod for for inside. Uh, it is nice and toasty in here. And uh, I've got my two pillows that I use in the uh, when I'm sleeping in here for a 
pad on my seat and back. And uh, I got a little uh, bucket here for miscellaneous. Makes a nice little stool there to set stuff on. I don't know if you can see that very good. Yeah. There. I couldn't see if you're what you're looking at there. But it's nice in here. I think it would vent pretty good because or I can open up that fly a little bit to make, let more air in. But as far as this situation, my gosh, that is beautiful heat and it comes up through the back of the chair. I can feel it back there. And if I want a little air or a view of my neighbors or whoever, <laughs> chickadees, it's pretty nice outside. Setting sun. Anyways, it's, that window's positioned pretty nice. There's another one up there, but that one I could open for for vintage, you know, if I wanted to eliminate it going up through there. But uh, I tell you what, that heater is just, feels fantastic on me. I, I don't need I was thinking I need to have boots on in here, but I don't know, because it's going right on my feet. So, anyways, I think in the future I'm going to find some uh, better insulation and then uh, cut it more perfectly and, uh, and then maybe wrap it with plastic, some really, really light plastic that keeps it intact. Kind of like this uh, painter's plastic that is super light. And uh, and then tape it up good so that it's easy to roll up, and you don't get the that uh, fiberglass on your hands and into your face or anything. And then it packs, it compresses so small that it would be no problem bringing that amount there that's needed to insulate the bottom of this tent. The more I sit in here, the more relaxing I am. And you know what, if I get so tired of sitting, I can stand up, stretch my legs without even having to go outside. So it works good. Yeah, proof of concept here. I don't really need it tonight, you know, because <clears throat> I have the camper right here. But if I was in a campground somewhere, you know, state park, national park, and I wanted to car camp, this would work for me. It be, it's nice to sit up and have the space and the heat right on you. Sitting in the car might not be bad either, but uh, this is an, a different, another option. And then it's here for, you know, getting your, your sleeping clothes on, storing clothes and miscellaneous items. And then, uh, you're just two steps or one step, whatever you want, as close as you want to get to the car. In fact, you could back the car practically up to the tent if you wanted to just step from the car into the tent or a tent into the car. So anyways, uh, let's see what we're doing on time. We got a few minutes. I'll get out here and uh, start uh, compressing that uh, air mattress. All right. Yeah, uh, filling it with air, I mean, not compressing it. All right, inflating it. <laughs> Lost for words sometimes. Oh, there's something going on with this stand here. There we go. Beautiful setting sun. Get this tightened down there. See what we got looking at. Yeah. To get this hat on right. <laughs> this here's what we got going on in here. I've got it on full blast back there. And uh, that way I'll have some heat coming up in through up into the mattress, which could be a problem. It might, 
I've got just a, uh, I'm just using a, a goose down uh, quilt, so I'll be right against the sheets on the air mattress. And then I just stuff some stuff in there. That's a work in progress, getting something better figured out there. I was gonna use the foam kind of in between there to bring up the center, but I don't think I'll need it. But uh, let's see, I think I'm gonna cut to a new one. I'll get that air mattress out here and the pump ready. And uh, I'll fire that up and see what else we can do in prep for the night in the car. I think I'm, I'm looking forward to trying it. So I'll get back to you. Bye now.